I started reading a really interesting book. It's a Life Among the Paiutes. I, I got this at a thrift store for a dollar. And um, it's by Sarah Winnemucca Hopkins. And I, I won them only the first chapter. And I ran across a very interesting story. She's talking about how her family is living in Nevada. You know, they're the, uh, Pai, the Paiutes. Her father is the, her grandfather is the chief. And um, they're talking about how a, a group of uh, whites who are new to the area, but a group of white settlers come through the area and then they, they all, the Indians all go hide in the mountains. And while they're hiding up in the mountains, this, the, 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 the white people coming through um, find their food stores, this is fall, and burn them all down, burn them all up. So they burn all the food for the Indians that they won't have anything to eat for the winter. And then they go on into the mountains. And she talks about how afraid they were. And her father was just, he really thought that these people were, his grand, her grandfather, that is, really thought that the white people, they were his brothers, and he, he, he stood up for them. He said, they're good people. They're, 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 they're good people. But his grandfather had gone away, um, to, for another reason. Oh, Rudy sees another doctor. And so what happened was, the white people went on into the mountains and um, got stuck in the mountains because they had a late start and got trapped up in the mountains and starved to death. Now, Later, they were talking about how they were afraid more because all the white people died up there in the mountains. Later, later, they were talking about how they were afraid that more white people were going to come. And the women, she was with her mother. She was a girl at this time. The women were talking about how the white people would eat, eat people. And the one woman said, her, her mother said, no, they don't eat people. They're, nobody does that. And they said, yes, they do. Up there in the mountains, they eat themselves. They eat each other. Well, they, well, they were starving to death. And they said, that, and they, they said it was such a shame. They said we could have helped them. I mean, we we could have we could have saved those people up there, those people, the white people stuck in the mountains. But we were so afraid because when they came by, they burned all of our food stores, and we were so afraid of them that we didn't dare go up there. And they all ended up starving to death and um, eating one another. And I realized they're talking about the Donner Party, although they don't say it. <laughs> this book was written in in. This was published in 1883. The Donner Party was in the 1840s, something like that. So, I mean, it wasn't called the Donner Party. It wasn't famous by that name, but that's exactly the, what they were describing. So they had had an encounter, these Paiute Indians had an encounter with the Donner Party, whom they could have saved, stuck up there in the mountains, if they had not been simply terrified of these people for a, who came through. And the only evidence that they, uh, of their passing was that they burned all the Indians, the Native American food for the in the process interesting how histories intersect uh, and, and collide